So I'm trying to log on now. Please, please, can you see my screen? So like I said, we are already on uh, to perform this particular transaction, the user copy. What you need to do is you navigate through the SU01. SU01. Okay. Okay, for example, uh, the source user, like I said, you know, I talked about the source user. So you enter the source user here. Okay, for example, I have I have this. I already created this before and given this particular user some authorizations. So this is source user now. So, you know, in the normal user creation, we'll come to this place and click on create and begin to follow, you know, enter all the documentation and every other thing, maintain the user uh, authorization status, the user comparison and every other thing. But instead we'll come to this place, we'll come to this uh, copy, we'll click on copy. Remember when I, I said uh, copy user, it will be from a particular user, that's a source user now. And in this case, we are taking in this case, we are taking uh, we are taking this Ford underscore IRS as our source user. So we click on this. We then we look for we, okay. Let us take a name, a name of a particular user we want to create. Okay, let us do um, okay. One minute. Let me. Okay, sorry about that. Let me take okay, a b underscore underscore IRS. This is the new, like I was making mention of the sales person. This is the new sales person now. So, what you do here is can actually see. Okay, hide this. Okay, what you do now, you click on copy. I don't can you see my screen, please? Hello? Is anyone following? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you click on uh, copy. Okay, when you click on copy, it should take you to the uh, initial logon of the new user you are creating where you have to create a password for this particular user, like this uh, AB underscore IRSL, where the user can actually log in or log on to the system wherever he or she is. For example, the person is not even around, the person is somewhere else in another branch. So what you now do here is you create a, an initial logon password for the user. For example, okay, let's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we replicate this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So uh, then what we do now, we click on save. We save this particular user. You can see here, you said uh, user AB underscore RSL is saved. So you can see the user is saved now. So Okay, the user has been uh, the user has been created. So what we now do? Let's go back and see the user I created initially has some authorization. We we'll try and perform some of this authorization, if not SAP or like give to that user.
So I'm trying to log on to the user we just created. A B underscore. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that was our password. So it has taken us to the initial uh, password where this uh, new user, the AB underscore, has to log in with a new confidential password. So he logs in. Okay, let's give this person a password, okay? You in one. So we we'll replicate this password. So we have successfully logged on this user to the SAP system, the user we created. So what we now, what we now, how you know that? Okay, the what you did was actually successful. You you perform some tra certain transaction that the source user had before. For example, that's uh, the Ford underscore RSA has a user SC01 has an authorization of SC01. Let's perform that. You can see this AB underscore can also perform that user, that uh, authorization. Let's check for others. Let me see. I think it has SC53, I think. So let's check. Yes, it can perform those transactions. So hello, you can see it can perform the various transactions uh, the source user had before. So this is how we perform the row copy. I don't know if there's any question before we can move on. Um, yes, yeah. so, so, so how, how did you know what um, privileges he has? How did you get okay. that screen? Yeah. Okay, okay. Like I said, what happened is uh, I actually created that row. I created that user before, before this training be, began. I created the user and I gave the user some rules. I gave the user authorizations and all that. So I knew I gave that particular user SC01. Like I said, the the source user, that is uh, the user you are copying from now, has some authorizations before. So this is one of the authorization that uh, source user had. That's the sales officer that has left the establishment or the organization, and there's a new sales user coming in. All I need to do now is to take the name. For example, we had uh, Mr. Uh, Adeleke was the uh, former, or let me use that word, former sales rep. Adeleke was the former sales rep. So, and uh, he left the organization. I, I understand and, that. Okay, I, I, okay. I'm just trying so, to, I mean, know how you you would see the the privileges for a user. Okay, 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 okay. You've created the, the, the user, you've assigned it to privileges. How do you see the privileges of that user? Okay. I think we should perform that transaction now. One minute, please. Can I see the video? Do you want to see the video? Pardon? Okay. Let's.
For for example, hello, sir. Yes, sir. So for example, this is some of the this is the rule assigned to this particular user now. On this particular, he has a rule assigned to it, admin rule, uh, admin underscore rule. This one of the rule assigned to the user. It's one of the privileges the user had. So I will look for the other ones. Let me go to one minute, please. Okay. Sorry. Well, this is not what I actually want to see. Let me go to authorization. Sorry. Sorry, one minute. I'm trying to look for PFCG and uh, check some of the authorization authorization check. Since you have not assigned PFCG, so this no. uh, fault is best login with your with your Peter underscore IRC. Then you need to do PFCG. Let me quickly do that. Hmm. Hello, Peterson. Um, what are we trying yes. to? No, I'm trying to check the. Uh, um, I assigned some authorizations to Ford underscore RSL, so I'm trying to check those authorizations. I think. Uh, okay. Menu. So this way, the authorizations are actually assigned to to the Ford uh, underscore RSL. 
So to check if uh, those authorizations are actually available, you log on to that particular user like I did before. I wanted to come to this place, so I will show it to you, sir. You log on to that, you perform those transactions. Then once you perform those transactions, it will, if the user has those authorizations, it will tell you uh, it will perform such authorization. But if the user does not have it, it will tell you no, uh, the user does not have these authorizations. I don't know if this will help you, sir. Um, I, I mean, like, I don't have a system. So I was thinking that there was a transactional code that, that would tell you all the um, all the privileges a, a user has. Right now, I don't have that on my head, but maybe in the next class, I'll be able to tell you that. So, okay, uh, here again, look, this is, uh, if you look at this particular role, okay, these are the, the user assignments. These are the, pe the persons assigned this role. Okay? I don't know if this will help too. These are the no, persons assigned I, I mean, this role. It, it just tells me the user's that, that have a, a role. But what I'm saying is that if I want, if I log into a user and okay. I want to see all that, all that user's roles, how do I do that? Hello, Mr. Abiola. Yes. And um, Peterson, do you mind if I come in here? Okay, you can. So, Mr. Abiola, as a security consultant, when you log into your clients, there are different levels of authorization you have as a security consultant. In some cases, you have the privilege of SAP all. In other cases, you have the privilege of super user as an administrator, depending on the level which you operate within an organization, because not all um, security consultants or system administrators have the privilege of um, super user being granted to them. But as a system administrator, in most cases, you have SAP all granted to you. So when you log into your client and you're trying to check if a particular user who has made a complaint has certain authorization given to them, one of the transaction codes you can use to achieve this is SUIM. When you put in the SUIM transaction code in the search bar and you initiate it, it will give you the options to search for a user. When you search for that particular user, you'll be able to see the authorizations granted to that user at the stretch. Does okay, this so, answer your question? I mean, it answers my question, but can we see that, I mean, I mean the SUIM, can we see it for, for that particular user that? Well, yes, oh. we'll get to it. Okay. But, um, I think it's best we um, let Mr. Peterson handle that. And when he's done with his discourse, we'll, uh, he would address this um, concern you just raised. Okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Abiola. Peterson, you may continue. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, okay. Let me... We'll try that, but let me do something now. Okay, let me go back. I want to log on to that particular user. I want to perform some certain uh, checks. I think AB, right? We did AB. Yes. Okay. Okay, let's do uh, 
S U S U I M, right? It's actually, it's, can you, are you there, Mr. Vela? Yeah. Hello? Yes. You see, yeah, this particular AB underscore IRS was not given sample. He cannot perform this particular. Uh, so, 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 this is not, this is not a good candidate for what we want to see. Let's go to, um, for for, I IRS. So, so, okay, okay, okay. I would I would do that shortly. So, this particular user now he can only perform, the authorization is given. That is what this user can perform. But I think I know I'm on the, get trying to get you and understand what you are trying to. But let me go to. Okay, let, let me explain to you what, what I'm saying. Okay, you a user, a user is in the system, right? And you want to know what privileges that you user has. So of course you will go to S U I M like the previous guy said, you know, and um, I, you, will I will choose, you will choose the, the user that you want to know the privileges he has, you know, and you, you will go from there. I, I, I just, because I don't have the, a system, so I, I'm actually trying to learn from you how to okay. see a user's privilege. So I, I think what we need to do is go to SUIM and then ensure that we we're pointing to the Ford user and- you know, Let's do that now. Take it from there. No, it's not. Okay, are you with me, sir? Yes. So this these are these are some of the this is the rules. Let me go for the authorization. These are some of the transactions this particular user can perform. Uh, this account actually has SAP O. So we can perform a lot of transactions, execute a lot of transactions on this system. But that other uh, account we created can only perform uh, some certain, you know, authorization it was assigned to perform. So I think, uh, I don't know if we are not clear with this, maybe in the next class I want to treat this. I don't know if that's okay by you. Basically, the question is, I want to see the privileges a user has. This is swim. So basically, I think if you go back to the, I mean, it, it will just show you the, I mean, there should be a place where it will show you the user to select the user. Okay, I'm with you. Um, Peterson, let's let's uh, Mr. Biola, let's walk let's walk through this together. So let's do this. Let's uh, go back to the easy access menu. Yes, let's um, execute the SUIM transaction code. Come down to user. Go up. User by authorization. Should, should you execute that? 
this is user by user by address data, user by complex selection criteria with unsuccessful logon. Then I think user by authorize with author, critical authorization. Can we do that? And see. come down to authorizations. You want to see the authorizations that this particular user has, right? Yes. I think this is it. Hey, Peterson, could you go back a screen? Go back a screen, Peterson. Thank you. Come back, come, back. come down to authorizations. <laughs> go up. Yes, authorization by complex criteria. So we should execute this and see. Basically, I mean, you haven't answered the question. I want to see the privileges a user has. Now, I mean, we have to tie this SUIM to the user. The, the, so we have to go to users because we have, there must be a place where we enter for, you know, and then um, it should, I mean, then we look for what privileges Ford has. That, that that answers the question. I, I just don't know how to to find it, but, but I mean, you know, I mean, if I was co coding, I'm I'm we're going we're going to say um select so, so, so sorry for in Oracle se, 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 select privileges from from somewhere, you know from user privileges where username is, I mean, equals Ford. I think, uh, Mr. Bella, can we continue on this class? Maybe before we finish, sure, sure, I will sure, get, sure, sure. I will get, I will get, I will get let, let's, yeah. let's go to transaction code SC system. Maybe we'll get it there, when we get there. Because there are a lot of things we are going to see pertaining to uh, user and authorization and every other thing on the system. I believe this will, will answer your question. Okay. Um, hello, Mr. Abiola. I think I understand your question. Your, if, if I'm to really get what you asked, you said you, you want to be able to see a user's um, authorization. What transaction code can a user um, as, have access to, right? Like the transaction codes that he or she can run on the system. If I don't need if I... Hello, can I be heard? Um, the, the, Daniela, you know, when you walk in, different scenarios come to you. It could be that you want to see a user's I mean, what a user can do in, in, okay. in the system. Yeah. You know? So, so basically, there should be a transaction code that will show you that. I don't know. You know, I mean, there there might be one, or there might be there, there, there should be a path that I will show me how to get to the user. So, S U I M. S U I M is i mean would would bring up that 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 screen and i should i should now go to users and then i should enter ford because I, i'm narrowing down to ford so uh, so there, there should be another um screen or something uh, you know that would now tell me what ford has you know what authorization Ford has. Basically, yeah. I'm narrowing down to Ford. Okay. You know um, that, yes. that, that's why I can do this in Oracle. Because you know, like so, I, I will say select yeah the privileges from user privileges where user name 
equals fold. Yeah, I do understand. Now, when that's that's when you're coding, right? When you're coding yeah. and you want to select exactly. the data from the database. You know, so 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 basically, I'm pulling that data from the, the, the database. database. Yeah. But, but there should be a way in SAP because the T codes are just aliases to small programs. You no, know? so small small programs, but but they are they are interlinked. You know. So basically, every label and text box in the system refers to one, it's like a form collected together for a, for a program. And then the, the T code, the T code being the alias, calls that, 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 that program. And the programs are interlinked. You know, but it should be able to to say, I mean, to solve a problem. I, I, and the problem here now is, I want to see users. I mean, pri privileges owned by by um, by user. Okay, so I think. Um... Mr. Peterson already showed us how to do that. I think as you, when you run a transaction code, when I mean you run a transaction code like X user one, and I think it's possible for um, an admin to view the user's authorization, I mean, roles. When yeah, he maybe, you know, maybe his role, maybe we have to tie the user to the role, but there should be a transaction. I mean, um, yeah, there's yes, Mr. There Abiola. Yes, are you trying to understand the authorization given to a user or the roles assigned to a user? Because these are two different things. Oh, Authorizations are contained within. So roles. Let me you see, let me explain to you. Listen to the question. The question, the, the, the problem is, I want to see the privileges owned, I mean, that, that a user has. How do I do that? Uh, okay. Um, is it possible for Mr. Peterson to continue the class? Yeah, yeah, Before sure, the sure, end sure. of the class, I, which, like, um, like try said, to figure out um, yeah, 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 yeah. I, you know, like, answer I mean, your question. Yeah, you guys are the, the expert now, so I, I'm just asking a simple question. Yeah, yeah I, I do. Of course, you're, you know. you're just looking for a transaction code whereby a, once you run it... No, no, I'm looking, for, I'm looking for a path. Okay, to, path. To... to, to to, I mean, giving me the the answer. It, it could be a transaction code. It could be couple couple, couple of transaction code. It could be a role. It could be SU zero one. It could be you know. I I don't know. I could uh, that down. A, but down then, uh, let, let, let we'll, us continue. We'll, we'll get you this and uh, we'll move yeah. on. So I think uh, in this transaction code that we run, we might even see what we are looking for there because this entails. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean that that's that's real because like, I mean, I mean, it, it could be an SU one that would get us there. It could be another one that that would get us there. Something has to get us there because the transaction codes are aliases to sub programs. I mean. Small, I mean, small programs, you know, you know, it, all the programs are interlinked. So let's, let's move on and then quickly deal with okay. this yeah, yeah, and sure, see sure. How, far, how far we'll go. So we'll be looking at uh, uh, this table, uh, what's it called, transaction SC16, like I said before. So... In SAP, uh, it is actually used, this transaction code is used to view 
uh, table data in SAP. So we'll just go straight into the system. I would like to explain, you know, as we navigate through the system. So uh, in this transaction code, we'll enter SU system. X system, sorry. So uh, what this transaction code is used for is used to view tables in SAP, like I said earlier on. So there are a lot of tables in SAP, but today we'll be looking at a few of them. For example, we have uh, the the T00 table. This table is used to store the client specific data and configuration. I don't know if you are following, please. Yeah. Okay. I'm listening to you, yeah. Okay. Data and configuration for each client in the SAP system. So it is commonly referred to as, like I said, a client table and contains information that is specific to an individual. That is a person or a client on the SAP system. So here are some of the, there are a lot of fees associated. By the time we open this uh, this uh, transaction, there are a lot of, you know, you see a table. Let me do that now. So, like I said, you see a table that pertains to clients on the SAP system. I don't know if you can view this now. Yeah, I, I can see. I, I can see what 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 you're doing. Yes. Okay. This uh, let, this seems this, this, this seems to be able to answer my question. But okay. say, for instance, now they tell you that oh, um, this user Ford created another user A B do but so something is working with Ford and it's not working with ABDO. You, you you want to compare, compare both of them. So okay. you you, you so, look so, at Ford and then you look, look, look at ABDO, what he has. Maybe there, there is a, a privilege that, that is missing or something like that, you know? You know, you know sometimes what we do in this, some of these, these things, once you are trying to perform a certain transaction and this thing doesn't work, you do... You perform this transaction code SU53. This will actually help. It gives you authorization checks and all that. All right. So, so when there's an authorization check, you'll be able to, you know, uh, perform the uh, authorization object, uh, the authorization field, and uh, uh, right. yes. So these are some of the things you'll be able to do with the you do an authorization trace. You'll be able to, you know, get that user the 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 required authorization to perform the transaction the user could not perform on the system so 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 do, do, does it allow me to check two users you know be, 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 because I, I mean what i'm saying is there, there's a scenario that okay this, 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 you, okay. You, you, user a should be equal to user b but for for some reason like like the problem i'm having now that I can log into to, to the VP, I mean, through the v VPN, you know, okay. something like that. You want to see what's different. What you said would show me, but is it going to be, is it going to show me how to compare the two users and see what's, what's missing? Because if I can, yeah, Mr. Baba Mdele can answer the question. Uh, uh let, let's go on i think there will be a segment for that let's just quickly go on and see if we, you can this will answer your question that's why I, I want us to check this if this will answer your question so in this particular aspect of uh, the table yeah uh, you'll be able to view like i said informations the settings for each client and uh, the 
okay, let me do something so that uh, maybe maybe that will answer your question. Let us do. Uh, Let's go on with this. We'll come back to table uh, E070. I think that E070 will be able to, it talks about clients and, uh, you know, it talks about uh, what is called users. So that should be able to answer the question, but let's let's progress with this. So okay. I talked about clients. I talked about clients and uh, the first rule here talks about, uh, the field, this field carries the, the contains and store the client's unique number. Like this now, uh, zero, zero. I don't know if you are seeing my, can you see my screen please? Hello? Yes. yes. Can see my okay. This uh, man ZT, it talks about what, it talks about the unique number of the client. And this is the unique number, zero, zero of the first client here is uh, SCP EG. This is the unique number. These are the unique number of a particular client. Like if you if you could uh, recall, when it comes to your when you are trying to log on to the SAP system, you you have a client number, a unique number. Like when I was trying to log on, I have my client number was zero four zero one. Okay, that's your unique number of for your system. Why this uh, particular M text? It contains, it describes the associated you know, uh, name. It describes the name you know, provided you know, to the client or given to the client. This is what the I understand. Name given to that client. I, I understand all that now. Okay, you understand all this first. Right? Basically, okay. a table must have a unique key. And that okay. unique key is man. And, and I mean, the, the name of the client is M text. M, M text, okay. Um, um no. autumn. I, I don't know what that means. I mean, O O R T maybe is location. You know, I yeah, mean, like you know, like it's, yeah, it's location. Yeah. You know, the then um um maybe the other one is, I mean, all that is. I I understand all that, but what I'm saying, like, like, like this now, if, okay. if I want to find the location, say in Oracle, I would say select from this table. T zero zero zero. I mean, select um, location from T zero 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 because that's where I'm getting the information from. Where location is Lagos, you know. So basically, I I should be able to do that kind of thing. Know which tables where the information lies. Where I mean I mean we, there should be a table. That has all that information for users. And okay, okay. Yeah, okay. That, let, let's, 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 let, let's check this. Let's go to this particular one now. Let me go back. Let me go back. Let's try this. And uh, I think this should show us that. That is a table U S arrows, I think, zero 02. Yeah, zero 02. This should, uh, should help us view that. Uh, uh, basically, if you want to view uh, a a user on this particular system now, maybe you want to view. Let me just do this for Ford, for instance. Um, uh, okay, okay, Ford, okay, Ford. This is Ford. Then we can just execute Ford, and this is it. So what is showing us here is just. Uh, just the unique number, the unique uh, name, the the what the that's the type of user, and uh, I think basically, let's check. You can see that's the name of uh, the admin that created this user. This talks about active of or lock, and uh, this is the class of the user. I think it's actually just showing us the user. This is what this table is showing us. It's showing us a particular user. I mean, we, we can move forward. Don't, don't worry, I, I'll look for it. But I'm sure that um, 
I mean, I, 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 I was I also do my check and I will, I will yeah. inform you on, yeah. of that. Yeah. So. So, like I said, if, for example, you want to check for users, uh, the, this table is actually related to a stores uh, user master data, including information related to the user accounts, the logon data, and the it's it's actually you know crucial to the for users administration and the security management. So you can just come here and check. Maybe you want to if to view all this system but all the users on this system you click here execute that's how to view but if you want to type for check for a particular user you can use that type the name also of the body user here or if you want to use an alphabet you can just type a here a to z it will show you all the users on the system but it, you can also do that with just execute sorry So it will show you every every name, the clients on this particular system, every user on this system, sorry. So these are the users on this system. These are the users on this system. You see, I, I don't want to distract the, the, the class, but I mean, it, it would be good for us to know how to solve a problem because the problem can come from any any angle you know what i mean so is that you, yeah. you if you have to use a t code or you know so it's good for you to also know your tables and what they mean but it's fine you know like um like i said you know like um i'm sure that mr emmanuel would able to answer the, the question okay these are just basically all the the client name on this system so uh maybe maybe the question is too advanced for this class but it, it's a very basic question in databases you know because you you should be able to to solve the the because what i'm saying is you have a, a, a user. You're comparing a user to another user. Maybe it's user compare. I I, I, I don't know if you have that in SAP, but you're comparing yeah. a, a user to another user. So the user comparison in SAP. I can uh, show you, you know. No, I mean, so in that place, in that, I mean, I mean, they, I mean, that transaction that does user comparison should be able to. You get it in PF, 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 PFCG. I actually showed yeah. you that particular role. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. So, so, so then if you want to see, if you want to, I don't know if that answers your question. If you want to actually see, uh, you by the time you know, I did a transaction called x 53 it shows on that fold, it shows all the transactions and whatever this person is able to perform. I don't know if you saw that. I, I'm not talking about that. You, 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 you're going over. You see, I, I, I'm a very fo focused person. I, okay. I, I don't want to undermine anybody. Okay. Um, what the question I'm asking is very simple. Is that you know it or you don't know it? Everybody's learning. The thing there is, yeah. I have a user, and I want to see what, what that user has and what the other user has. I'm comparing these two users. You know, b b b because this this user is in one group let's say is is a is in the basis group but he can't do certain things that the other user can do you know you have to narrow, narrow down the you know i mean i mean troubleshooting thing you want to know why this user is working and why this user is not working and i know that it's about authorization it's I, about I, told, I told I I told you this is we are talking about authorization trees here. What happened is if a certain uh, if uh, you you couldn't perform a certain authorization, it will tell you uh, this user cannot perform that authorization. Then you go to SU fifty three. SU fifty three will reveal this particular user what 
authorization, uh, it will bring you out the authorization field, authorization object, and all that. By the time you perform the authorization object and the authorization, maintain that. Okay. Would, the user will what, to do that. What, what he could, what, what, what he could, he could does that. Because don't forget, you know, don't forget, a T code is just an alias to a sub 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 program, right? So basically, you know, you're looking for something. You're looking, you're trying to do do do, do, do something. Maybe it's not in a T code. Maybe it's in a table. But you know, like I mean, I mean, the answer should be in the system, and the answer is in the system. And we'll, we'll look for it. If we can't get it today, yeah. we'll look for it. You know, so, 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 so let's move on. Let's move on. Okay. Thank you for that. So uh, this particular uh, US RO02 table, like I said before, it helps to manage uh, user accounts, controlling user access, and uh, enforcing security policy. Sorry, one minute. Enforcing security policies and uh, and uh, and also it includes information of the user, the ID, the types, uh, the type of logon of the user, the password, and uh, the what again does it entails. Out you can also view a particular user account here, which you can also view them, you know, personally also here. So these are some of the things it does. Mm. Sorry. Then uh, let's move. Let's check this other table again to see if. Let me go to that table to see if I can. Let's view this table. The e. 53 table 2 e0 these are basically what this uh, table does for in SAP is uh, it it tracks the change and release status of the owner and then release the information for for transport, that is an E zero seven C. So just execute. So we can actually see the table. The first TR status here represents the status of uh, the transport request where it indicates the state of the request. That is, uh, is arrow is for request and uh, I'm coming. So the arrow is for the request, then the D is for the release and so on. Why the other ones tells us about uh, Basically, let me help. You see, tables have columns and they have rows, right? Yeah. So this is a table that has T R K O R R as co yeah. one column, T R function, another column, T R status. That's transaction records. I mean, status. I mean, status. Okay. So it's basically tables and columns. Right, so you can't know all the tables in in the system. You you can't. But, I know. You know the important tables you would know. Right. I mean, it's advisable for you to know the important tables if if you want to go through tables. But there are transaction codes that that are shortcuts for you that 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 that, 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 will, that will help you. You know what I mean? Like, but, but yeah. basically. You, 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 it's either you don't understand what I'm saying or, or you're trying to, to divert. Because what I'm saying is very, very basic. You know, like, it's not that I'm knocking you, but, you know, like, it's very basic. 
I'm trying to, to, I have a system. In the system, they told me this user is not working, and that user is working. But what they should all be working together. So I will check the first user what he has, and I will check the second user what he has. If everything is the same, you know, in terms of authorization, I, I, I should be okay. You know what I mean? I mean, it's a very, very sim simple thing. I, I, I mean, like, I mean, uh, like, like, this is your T-R-K-O-R-R. I don't know what the, that, I mean, I mean, slash C-F-M, but I know that it's a, it's a data. Yeah, it's a data system. That, yeah, so, so I, I know that. You know, and, uh, and it's, a, it's a request. Yeah, you know, uh, I mean, request. so, so, yeah. So because of that means that that means that T R K O R a request. You know, I mean, like, you know, so data is uh, is giving me all the the data in 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 raw format. Yeah. You know, oh, but it's okay. Let, let us just. I mean. Because there's no point in us learning, seeing this. We have to be able to solve problems. We are, we should be so solutions driven, so solutions expert. Yeah, you know? yeah, you are very, you are very correct, Mr. Ido. You know. You are very correct. Yeah. Um, of course, these are standard. Um, these are standard. Uh, we call them alias for you know setting. Uh, you know. Uh, certain actions in the system, like you said, the T R K O R, it has uh, it has what it represents. It has uh, yeah. it has what it represents. These are standard, uh, you know, things that you can check out even you, online. You, yeah, you see, you see, that, um, we are all we are all learning, and yes. the bet it's better that we learn all these things together. You know, like I mean, like of course. Because we will be very good in what we're doing. Because, like I told you, the questions, the the the, the request will come in different forms. It's for us to know where to how to do it. You know. Of course, of course, of course. Yeah, that's, so what we, it, that's what I'm. It's not that, that I'm saying. It's not that mm -hmm. I'm not knocking anybody because I, I don't know know the answer. I, I'm asking. So the person who doesn't yeah, the, know, know, but yeah. once I know the answer, I won't get into this kind of argument again. You know, it is only once that you know. So so, I, I, I allow. Well, it doesn't. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be an argument. Uh, this no, no, is the, it's not an argument. Uh, sharing, uh, it's not an argument. Uh, so, sorry, I, I use yeah. the, 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 the 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 wrong word. We won't have this. Um. Um. I mean, you know, Bobot. The thing there is that even if we don't know, I mean, Mister, I mean, I think it's Mister Bab 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 Mdele, He went to one site, you know. I mean, that site, I mean, answers all the questions. I mean, like, let me go. Like, you know, like, I mean, yeah. I mean, you don't have. You see, knowledge is either you know it in your head or you know. Where to find you? So it's not a big deal. It's to solve the problem. Okay. okay. Yeah. Got it. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for sharing that. Uh, for sharing that, it's important that uh, we all, you know, we're able to carry ourselves along. And uh, for this kind of um, lesson, it's good that um, uh, you are able to. Explain what they yeah. mean so that uh, yeah. you don't uh, just answer, talk to answer me and people SAP. are not able to com. really follow answer up with you. Answer.sap.com. No, answer.sap.com. It's a website. You know? So, I, I mean, like, I mean, I'll just go there and type it there. I mean, like, I, I, I'm so sure I'll be close to it. I, I just thought, thought it was common knowledge that, that I... I, I I don't have to do that, but, but, but it's fine. Yeah, of course, of course. It's uh, it's something. It's information that anybody. In fact, you don't even need to go as far as answer.sap.com. It's as simple as typing on Google, right? Just go on Google right now, on this in the search bar, 
type uh, photos, T R K U R R means in SAP. You get the information from multiple websites. So it is common knowledge, it's common information. Um, but of course, um, no one knows it all. You can skip anybody's mind. Sometimes you know something and uh, at that point in time, you're not able to get the information that you need, probably because um, you know it's not it's just not come to you at that point in time. So um uh, uh thank you for uh sharing that. Thank you very much. So um Peterson, are you done? Uh, I think I'm I'm done. Okay, yeah. I'm done. So maybe we'll just round up. So uh maybe any other contribution from any other, any other person for random? So if there's any, if there's no contribution, let's call it a day. Thank you for listening and uh, have a wonderful time. Thank you. So Mr. Biela, I'm going to be Hello. on that. And now in our um, next class, I will, I will give you a proper Hello. and a better Hello, Mr. Oh, Mr. Yeah, I think someone has a question here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not, not really a question, Mr. Sadiq. Um, I have issue with one of my assignments. So um, I did say that yesterday in um, uh, during the training class. So I was told okay. that someone is going to get in touch with me or something like that. I was actually trying to get with you, uh, Mr. Sadiq, or probably Mr. Kudus. Um, you know, I tried to, you know, figure it out myself, but it just uh, wouldn't work for me. Okay. Are you are you on your laptop right now? Are you able to share the screen? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm able to All share. All right, please do. Yes, you, please you, do. You can share. Okay, all right. Yeah, in case of uh, some other time, even if uh, you see there's a session going on, just type in the chat so that um, the instructor can be aware that you have uh, something that you want, uh, you need uh, attention with, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I... I'll do that next time. I just don't want to, you know, kind no, of like... Uh, just no, it's fine. Day. It's fine. No day problem. Day. Okay. All right. I'll share my screen. Hello? Yeah, we are with you, sir. Waiting for you. Can you see my screen now? Yes. Okay. All right. So um well the, the assignment I'm working on, it's um I don't know, let me see. I think uh be open. So, um, I pretty much this is the assignment I'm working on. Uh, maintaining and evaluate. I, I think you need to share. You need to share the other screen. We are stuck on the on the SAP logo oh. on the screen. Oh, okay. Yeah, sharing screen. Okay, can you can you see my screen now? We are still seeing the the logo SAP logo on screen. Oh, okay. Then you should be able to see the other one. What about now? Uh, no, nothing. No, see the same. See the same screen. The SAP logo on screen. I don't know why this. Maybe you need that. to stop share, stop share, and then share the entire screen. You share again. Oh, okay. Okay, all right. Cool.
Okay, can you can you see it now? I'm sharing. Yes. 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 So. Oh, okay. All right. So um, okay, this is the assignment. I'm okay. So uh, I'm trying to show you what I'm stuck at. Uh, Starting route to 9703 Barker Cypress Road. At the light, use the left lane to make a U-turn at Sawmill Creek Drive. I don't think that's coming from me. That's not coming from In 1.4 miles, turn right into the parking lot. Hello? Yeah, hi. Oh yeah, um, I'm just um, um, trying to show you what I'm stuck at. Uh, it's um, number two, so I'll I'll go ahead and log in right now, and probably you can um, take me through what I need to do. Okay, yeah, log in, please. Okay. Okay. Can you see my screen? Right into the parking lot. All right. Uh, can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So, um, All right, okay. So um, the question actually wants me to, um, the previous question I've done, okay? So uh, it starts from number two. So it wants me to, you know, assign user uh, button on the SAP easy to access. And I did that. Okay, so um, it says uh, the A in the SAP, the easy access menu, press the button, I mean, other uh, menu button. And that's what I did. I did that. Okay, so um, it wants me to. It's really. Um, what is saying here is that it wants you to assign this role, ADM nine four zero. So underscore BC to this user GR zero one. So if you go back to that, um, um, go back to the GUI. Go back now, to where? The G, the G, that's yeah, that one. So the single type role, that type that role here. You know, that that the role the role here. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know that, that's the that. ADM the ADM something. You know, type it here. Yes. Give it a short description, and then click on search. That yeah, start search. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I did all that. It's, uh, my 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my, my issue is going to come in after this right now. So I, I, oh, okay. I'll share. Just, just All right, let me. Okay. Uh, All right. Let me get past this right here. So, okay, it says enter the ADM nine forty on the Scott Aster, right? So, I'll do that. Okay, so nothing in, in that. So just um, pretty much want me to start search. No, 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 no. Um, no. Why don't you? That's that's what it okay. says. The, 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 that's it, yeah. That's it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Okay. Yeah. So so then he, from there, he wants me to copy. He wants me to copy the ADM no, 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 940. No, no. You need to click. I, I think oh. I think I need to. Uh... You need okay. to click on that. To yeah, select yeah. them. Mm -hmm. No, it says select and on... choose and choose copy. Is it select okay, can you see what I'm like? So, so where, 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 where does it select rule? It means click that rule. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So click, click, click there. Press down. I did. No, press it on your on your mouse. Yeah, I did. I did. It's not where 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 the cursor cursor is. Yeah, there. Just press on that. Yeah, I did. I'm doing that. Oh, oh, oh okay. Click on the um on. select the the. Uh, I mean, um, yeah, that yeah. Okay. Okay. See, you see, so I, I I got to this place. Okay. Okay. Okay, so it goes to number two. Then yeah, it said, eight. assign your new user, GR01 ADM to the rule, <clears throat> ADM 940 underscore BC admin. Okay. They choose the assigned let's, user button on the SAP easy access. Yeah, let's go back to the GUI. So which one is the assigned user button? I don't know. That's that's uh, that's yeah yeah. So scoping. so I mean maybe Sadiq can or, or somebody can explain to yeah. us. That's that's where my problem lies. Okay, go back to go back to your question again. Let me show you something. Okay. It said assign a new user to the role. Uh, ADM 940 underscore BC underscore admin. Then go back to the initial screen, SAP just in, uh, enter the user ID. Okay, let's go back. Okay. Scroll, scroll down. Let me, let me, let me show you something. Sorry, before you go, scroll down. Okay. Okay, scroll down, enter the user ID, then add user. Okay. Okay, let's Basically, okay go go back go back and then uh, enter SC zero one. That rule has been created. You want to assign the rule, right? Oh uh, yeah. No, well, number two, it said assign your new user gr one ADM to the rule admin. Okay, you want to assign rule to that particular? Yeah. Then okay. then then the 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 um the nodes a it says choose the assign user button. On the SAP easy access initial screen, it, it never said anything about SEO one. Yes. Okay. Uh, I agree with the you. Role, the, the role has been created, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Everything has been done. The previous stuff, the okay. previous steps have been done, but uh, it okay. just okay. This is okay, okay. Go to you. What? Uh, go to PFCG. Let's see. Go to uh, PFCG. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll try it out. This. Okay. Okay. Uh, and the rule now. Copy that rule. The copy rule. Yes.
when you search for that particular no, no, role no, that you no, want to no. sign. Basically, he's saying that you, you should type in the role. Type in the role. Oh, okay. 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 Copy the role from, from, from the question. Or you type it. Just copy. Mm, okay. I, I like it. I like the role and press Control T. Mm -hmm. Without the dots. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like it. Now press Control C. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cover P. Now um, Control V. Mm -hmm. Control V. Press Control V. Control and V. Yeah. Just remove that dot. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now click on change. Okay, click on user. Okay. Then, uh, okay, assign. What's the name of the user you were trying to give this particular role to? Enter the user here now. Sorry, please. Okay, GR one again. Yes, enter that user on this particular user ID. Okay. Make sure it's correct. Okay. Yeah, GR. Then uh, click on uh, user comparison. Click on user comparison. And click on okay, save rule first. Yes, so the role has been successfully assigned to that particular user now. Yeah, complete uh, comparison. Complete this. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. okay so, sorry, could I just add something? You see, the question I was asking, the question I was asking, this has answered it. If you're comparing two two users one is working one, one is no not working you you the user could the user comparison would do it for you automatically okay thank you okay. i mentioned i mentioned right. that earlier on but uh, i think maybe you didn't listen i was trying I, yeah, to tell you i, I didn't hear that you know I, I you know like i mean that that's why because i mean because we're going around the circle so, i mean it's pretty pretty straightforward no. So, thank so, but, so okay. sorry uh, about that. So, yeah, Mr. Yeah. Uh, you can, you yeah. can go on. Yeah, um, uh, a quick question. This is um, okay. uh, where I was lost a little bit during the assignment. Uh, if okay. we see the notes on A, it says choose the assigned user button on the SAP okay. Easy Assist. So, I was actually using, I mean, looking for that uh, 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 yeah. the user button. Mr. To Mr. Assign. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Altman? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, Mr. yeah. I was. I wanted you to just. I wanted uh, you to just, you know, land on that what you were trying to do before I, uh, yeah. you know, before jumping in. Um, yeah. I wanted to come back to this because you see that the steps here is actually different from what you have just done on the system. Exactly. Okay. So that's that's yes. my yeah. Yes, it's it's normal to be lost. Don't feel. Uh, I mean that you don't know what you are doing. It's it's. I, I can tell you that every everyone that has you know passed through this. Uh, uh this particular exercise yeah. have uh, had this challenge one way or the other because um at oh. the end of the day um they are not able to locate that uh, sign users button and i can tell okay. you that it is purely an authorization issue okay okay it's an authorization okay. issue um because of the level of authorization that you have you are not able to see oh. that uh assign users button do you understand oh. so what you have just done now what my colleague has just shown you now it's just, you know, of course, another way for you. The normal way that we do it, right? Uh -oh. You create oh, a role okay. and assign the role to a user. But what this okay. exercise is trying to tell you is that you can actually do this from right from the SAP Easy Access screen. Oh, yeah. Start. Okay. Okay. Permit me to share my screen. I will show you what I'm talking about right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let me let me stop. All right. Can you see my screen? Yeah, I can see. Yes. Good. So basically, what we are trying to do is you start from the other menu here, yeah? right? Yeah. 
Yeah. It's, it must be where you start from. Other menu. Yeah. Uh -huh. From the other menu, you put in the name of the row. Right. Yeah. Put in of the row. Um, let me just say, I don't know if I have any row, but let me just say. Uh, we can use that particular row. Yeah, we can use this particular one. Uh, it's yeah, um, ADM940 underscore yeah. raster. The thing is, I'm not sure if I have that row. You know, this is a different line from the one you're Oh, okay, 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 okay. So let me, I think I should have some row like uh, maybe Z uh, underscore tests, uh, tests underscore row. Yeah, I think I should have a row like this. So let me search. Okay. But half perfect. I have it. So you see, this is row now. I'll select the row. Mm -hmm. Now, as soon as I select the row, right? Now, yeah. you can see the row. The row is now showing on my easy access screen. At, the, at that point, I can see assigned users up here. Look at assigned users. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you will not, you can't see it on your on your own screen because you don't have enough authorizations to allow okay. you to see it. Okay, okay. so this is only what that lesson is trying to pass. The lesson is trying to let you know that you don't necessarily have to go into S201 or PFCG to assign a role to a user. Right from the okay. access screen, you can do it. Okay. Okay. Once you open okay. the role, the role will be listed out right here on your easy access screen as if you have access to that role. Then from here, I can okay. now see assign users. I can click on assign users, and I'll now put in the user ID, just like the step in that exercise. Mm -hmm. So I can now put mm -hmm. GR01, whatever the name of the user is, right? GR01, yeah. whatever, ADM, right? Yeah. And then I'll say add users. So if the user is existing in the system, the role will be assigned to the user. Yeah. Okay. So okay. that's basically what that lesson was trying to teach you. So I'm um, um, sorry, Sadiq. Is there any TT code? for this uh well um this is something that happens right here on this access screen you just start by clicking on other menu okay other menu so from the other menu you'll be able to put in the name of the row right it could be a single row or a composite row right then you search mm -hmm. for it so once you search for the row you will see the name of the row you click on it then the content of that row will be displayed right here on your is access screen you know, okay. as if you have access to those roles, okay? And from there, you can now assign that role to you, to a user, to one or more users. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I got you. I got you, I got you. All right. All right. So that's, uh, right. that's, uh, that's behind you now. You can move on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, All sir. Right. Thank, you. Thank you, Mr. Peterson. You're Thank welcome. You. Uh, you're welcome, sir. You're welcome. All right. Thank you so much. All right. I can move on from there. Okay. All right. Thank you, everyone. I don't know if you said the uh, thing. The time has gone, and uh, we have to call it a day. So thank you for listening. Thank you, everyone. So have a, a good day and a good night rest. <laughs>